I'm freshly spray tanned, so I have no makeup on. I'm growing a huge zit here, which sucks because I leave for my bachelorette in 48 hours? Oh my God, no, 48 hours I'll actually already, <laughs> I will have already been on my bachelorette for like a few hours. So anyway, under two days away, I'm actually going to Disneyland for my bachelorette. This is my dream trip of all time. Like if I could just pick anywhere that I wanted to go and I did get to pick anywhere I wanted to go, this was it. So I'm really excited about it. We've got a good group of girls coming, like 10 girls, 10, 12. I don't even know how many at this point, but point being, I've just been like running around trying to get things done. And I feel like I always leave to the last minute packing. And I just wanna do that with you guys, show you some of the stuff that I'm bringing. I will vlog the bachelorette just cause I kind of feel like you guys will wanna see it. So make sure to follow me on Instagram cause I will, um, I'll put some stuff on stories. I'll have some stuff on my feed, but I kind of just wanna do the vlog as like a YouTube specific thing for all of my YouTube family. Stay tuned for that. But I thought we could pack together today. We will focus primarily on beauty because I just need to get that out of the way, check that box off. And then I'll actually show you some of the stuff that I have back here that I'm planning to pack with me. And you know, we'll just, we'll take a look at some of the stuff that I bought. I'll link everything below for you guys. And then you can come on my bachelorette with me. So let's do it. This is real. Okay, so like I said, let's just <laughs> not looking 100% right now, you guys, but it's fine, it's fine. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do is actually pack makeup in my Kuyana cases, just cause they're like kind of massive. I like to put brushes and stuff in the small ones. They actually have my new initials on the front of them. And then this giant one is where I keep all my makeup. This is absurdly large. You could totally do like toiletries and things like that in there. But honestly, I makeup to me is actually like more important than my wardrobe. I do more of it. I, I mean, I'm obviously like pretty simple when it comes to my fashion. <laughs> so makeup is my place to have fun. So I've actually got, I'll show you guys. This is my Ikea drawer over here. I can flip you guys around. This is all makeup in here. And then brushes are here. I do have some stuff in here. So yeah, I have kind of a lot that I could pick from. It's like a wardrobe within itself. So I just figured I would grab some stuff. Here's the thing. Um, let's start top down. This top drawer is actually like all of my skin makeup. Would it be interesting to you guys to do like a vanity tour? I did like an old, old vanity tour maybe like a year or so ago, but I've completely, completely updated my whole system. Not to mention I have like four times the amount of makeup I did. So I can always update that for you if you guys are interested. But I think I'm gonna bring two different skin products. So I want to bring my It Cosmetics CC Cream, which is like my ride or die CC cream. It's SPF 50, I think that is like perfect for the parks. But then for going out dinner kind of thing, I really wanna pack, I wanna do a full face of Charlotte Tilbury actually, because I just feel like it's glam, like super glam. I actually have some more of their stuff coming in the mail and it's not here yet, it'll get here tomorrow. So you'll have to follow on Instagram to see that full look that I end up doing, but I've got a plan. I think like a dark moody lip, glowy eyes, all Charlotte Tilbury. We'll get there. So I'm gonna pack Light Wonder and then Charlotte also makes like a solid glowing primer. It's called the Wonder Glow. So I'm gonna pack that too for my nighttime makeup. I also like um, to have a little Fix Plus just to spritz the spritz. This is a cucumber one. It's delicious smelling. Ooh, do I need concealer? I have zits, so maybe. No, and a little powder. I'll pack the Charlotte Tilbury powder. This drawer is my least favorite because it's like super tall and I can't see it while I'm sitting. Okay, I like to use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer for Zittles and then the NARS one for under the eyes. I'll pack both of those. The NARS one everybody uses for zits. It's a highlighting concealer. Like it's for under your eyes. I don't think you wanna like highlight a zit, you know? Okay, the next drawer over here is where I keep blushes and bronzers. I am gonna keep it simple. I'm going to take as a bronzer highlight the Charlotte Tilbury, oh, it's so dirty, Film Star Bronze and Glow. So you've got a bronzer and a highlighter right there that kind of like handles that. And then I'm gonna take this Charlotte blush. This one is in Ecstasy. Ecstasy, looks like a nipple. Pack that. But I feel like I also wanna take NARS Super Orgasm. That's like a ride or die for me. I feel like when it comes to Bachelorette wedding stuff, I start to get like really sentimental. You know what I mean? Like I get very like, oh, this blush was my first <laughs> favorite blush. This highlighter was my first highlighter. Like you start to get really sentimental about stuff. NARS, super orgasm, not regular 
orgasm, super orgasm. I've hit pan on like eight of these. Just like the first blush I ever spent money on and ever bought. This is from Vitamin C Serum, by the way, not from my tan. And then as a second highlighter, I'm also gonna pack Girl Meets Pearl. I worked at the Bare Essentials counter in Macy's, like back in my hometown, and literally like the Benefit Girls were across the way and like showed me how to use this with this brush. This is like the original brush they sold me. So I'm just nostalgic, I really like it. It's kind of like a pinky gold highlighter for those that might wanna try it out. I think that's gonna be it on the bronzer and blush front. Oh my God, this is like not attractive. Ugh. Okay, the next drawer is five million lipsticks. I gotta be honest, like I just don't know if I can mentally tackle that right now. Again, speaking of nostalgia, I kinda wanna bring this. This is super expired, super discontinued. I don't care, please don't hate me. I'm gonna keep wearing it anyway. It's like my treasure. Like I barely ever put it on just cause like you can't buy it anymore. It was the Lady Gaga Viva Glam by MAC. I'll put it on. It is the best Barbie pink that exists and I'm just, I'm obsessed with it. I also got these clear lids for all of my MAC lipsticks on Amazon so you can see like, I can see the colors. I'm gonna bring that and then I'll pack some other stuff like in my purse. I really wanna do like a dark lip, like I said, for uh, our going out dinner look. So I gotta pick up a dark lipstick for that, but I think that's really gonna be it on the lip front. I'll pack some other stuff in my purse. The next drawer that's down here is single eyeshadows, mascara, eyeliner, and brows. <laughs> so not eyeshadow palettes. This is like the, the single other stuff. So first and foremost, I'm gonna do a Lina. That was Charlotte Tilbury's Feline Flick. I'm also gonna take MAC Fluid Line with a brush because it helps me get like a good wing. So I'll just take this. I'm gonna do brushes in a minute. I just don't wanna forget. For mascara, I have an open Better Than Sex and I also have an open, an open Charlotte Tilbury. I'm gonna bring both. <laughs> it's like picking a favorite pair of shoes. Like what am I supposed to do? I can't not take both. Ride or Die Eyeshadow Primer. This is Smashbox 24 Hour Photo Finish Eyeshadow Primer. Ride or die. And then I've got a couple cream shadows that I like to bring as toppers. I honestly might only bring one of them. This is the Scattered Light Glitter Eyeshadow. Color is Aura. Aura? Aura? Is that how you say it? But it's with A, it starts with an A. Do you still say Aura? Anyway. We're gonna take that. Then I need a oh, brow. For brow, I'm gonna take Benefit stuff, just ride or die. This is Gimme Brow, Goof Proof. Throw both of those in there. I do have microblading, but are you guys so sick of hearing me say that in every single video? Here's the hard part, is palettes. And I have a Charlotte Tilbury palette coming in the mail, so maybe I should like hold until that comes. I'm gonna hold until that comes. But we're already pretty, pretty full here. So I think we're pretty packed. That's all just makeup. And yes, we're only going to LA from San Francisco and I will be checking a bag. Okay, to be honest, I'm not really sure the best way to show you everything on the rolling rack, but I do have stuff on my rolling rack to pack. So I just thought I would kind of like take you through that. Ugh, the fits are just so bad. Let's turn you around. For bags, I think I'm gonna take this crossbody from Kuyana. It's actually like a take, I'll do a review on this soon. It's actually an update on their mini tassel bag. This is the new camera bag. Our wedding colors are black and white, so you'll see a lot of black and white just throughout the whole bachelorette. It's just a simple crossbody, pack that. Um, this is actually my wedding day handbag just because like I need to be able to keep like my phone, <laughs> my lipstick, just I like to just have my own little space where nobody else needs to worry about it. So I got this from I think like East something, East something shop. I'll leave links to everything down below for you guys. So it's custom, new initials right here, beaded. I don't know if you guys can see the detail on that. And then I won't show you because I'm keeping it a secret, but when you flip it up, the wedding date is actually um, beaded underneath. So I'll take that. We've got this little sassy shirt that I found on Etsy. I'll leave a link for you guys. I will not be wearing this at the parks because that's not cool to parents with kids, but I'll probably wear it in the airport. This is my only little <laughs> obnoxious I'm a bride shirt. I'm very like anti, like I don't want a sash. I don't want like ears with a veil. I don't, I don't want any of that, but I did think that this shirt was just cute for some 
photos with the girls and it's rose gold so the bachelorette is like black white and like rose gold I picked up a couple things from ASOS ASOS um, which I'm kind of like regretting to be honest because I just I should just stick to my classic stuff I don't know why I always try and go trendy but I did find this white tee with like lace sleeves that I thought was cute um, this one is another ASOS one it's got like a ASOS ASOS it's got like a little peplum hem to it a little t-shirt style I'm gonna pair all of that with either white or black jeans these are both Everlane I raw hemmed them myself I just cut them and then fray the ends just by pulling it like that keep it nice and easy they're both like high-waisted pair all that together with maybe some white boots or my white Keds that I'm planning to wear at the reception when I get tired of high heels so bring those and then my going out outfit, we have one night that's like a fancy dinner. I'm usually not a big Zara person because I just can't do the fast fashion thing. It really bothers me, but I do think I'm gonna wear this dress a lot more than just this time. So I feel okay about it. It was like $50 and it's this sparkly Zara dress with, I think I'll do rock studs down there. I have some nipple covers and fashion tape because this thing, it's actually like very open and just like falls over the place. So fix that. Honestly, you guys, I think that is the bulk of it. I've got a few other things I'll sneak in there, but I will do a full blog post recap of like everything Bachelorette, like with the outfits, the decor, um, just the whole thing. And I'll obviously vlog it. So pray for me that this zit goes away within, I don't know, 36 hours. Would be ideal, honestly. And if y'all could just like this video, join my family, please subscribe to my channel, join the Bagel Babe family, and follow me on Instagram. Bobby, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.